Hi, welcome back to today's World Report. Chart appraisals on Wednesday, the 8th of April, with me, which is Premier Market Analyst at Hemtech Markets. Moving on to cable now. And once again, we've got this consolidation really moving over across the last few days. We've had had this payrolls related jump on, on Friday, but then you've had seen the correction back on Monday and Tuesday. And ag again, the, um, I mean, it's uh, sort of unwinding that move from the last two days today. So um, we're pretty much back to square one, not really doing anything, no real direction. Continued resistance being formed underneath this 150 level, 149.50 to 150. How many times in the last few weeks has that been the case? A key resistance coming in around that level. RSI, MACD, stochastics, basically all neutral. Um, RSI 46, 47, not really doing anything. MACD lines again, not really doing anything. And RSI, sorry, and stochastics, basically neutral as well. So nothing really doing anywhere on the daily chart. No real signals, and this is this is the hourly chart. You can see the the fluctuations um, around this sort of consolidation. Slight drift higher, but then that was corrected yesterday. But then we've just slightly poked higher again today. However, it just seems to be again you're beginning to run out of a bit of momentum there. I've got this uh, cross here in at 149.20, which is a bit of an interesting pivot level. Um, seems to be um, not. Not bad, actually. I wouldn't say that's too bad. 49.20, so maybe that's your first line of resistance, and you're about 30 pips away from that. But interestingly as well, what I wanted to point out here was since we've basically been going sideways for the past two or three weeks, if you look at the hourly RSI, you can play that definitely uh, as, a, as an overbought, oversold indicator um, to play it on the very near term. The only time it didn't really work was this one here on that third when it just consolidated sideways. But subsequently, uh, pretty much every time you've played it other than that, it would have worked very well. So again, overnight, we've had a, a move down towards 30, and then the RSI giving, arguably, that's your, in, in a trading range, that's your buy signal. And you've had a rally. Uh, and that rally is now up towards mid-60s, so maybe if you got towards uh, a little bit higher, uh, that would be in line with around 149.20, so perhaps that would be your taking profit signal or potentially your sell signal if you're going to continue to play this range. I would say that's not the worst idea because there's not a great deal else you can do with this chart at the moment, certainly on a near-term basis. Um, so yeah, that is how I'd be looking at playing it. Um, in terms of uh, your break, um, your breaks from this range, I'd s I mean, I'd certainly say if you zoom out here. You really need, um, I mean, 47, I've got this uh, pivot level in here, sort of support line, uh, and then uh, and then below it, 46, 30 area. But, uh, I mean, unless you get a really a significant breakdown, uh, 47, 30 odd uh, is that low in, in, in the last few weeks anyway. But unless you get a break above 150 big figure, which I don't see happening at the moment, I don't see this chart really positioning for that breakout. Um, I think we're just going to continue to play the range, and I think um, that's going to be the case until you get a decisive, um, decisive bit of fundamental news that would see you breaking either way. Now, the Fed meeting minutes tonight could have an impact, certainly. Um, any sort of hawkish lean would have a drag effect on cable to the downside, but um, I don't really, uh, I'm, I'm not expecting any real uh, surprises from the Fed minutes tonight, and I think what we can see is a continuation consolidation for the rest of the week. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading on cable and I'll speak to you later. Thank you.